Hey, welcome back to RV Capital Talk. I'm Dave Dufour here with Sherman Goldenberg. And boy, it was a party. It was a, 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 a selling situation. It was a, it was the open house, the fourth annual Elkhart op, RV open house for dealers, right? Uh, correct. And, and it really was, you know, kind of an epic experience mm-hmm. for a lot of people yeah. uh, from Elkhart and people who came from, from out of town and people who follow the industry know pretty well uh, that the open house is becoming something to deal with, something to contend with. And, mm-hmm. and almost everybody we talked to had positive things to say about it. I remember yeah, one guy, that. and I'll tell you a little bit about him and what he had to say because it was valid mm-hmm. opinions. But, you know, uh, by and large, uh, what we're hearing in measured tones uh, was a, a very similar to what we heard, and I think we're going to show a, a short clip uh, uh, from Ernie Friesen, mm-hmm. uh, who's a California deal, uh, dealer, a well-known guy, an RVDA loyalist and former chairman of the Recreation Vehicle Dealers Association. Okay, let's Talking take a to look. Ernie Friesen, All Seasons RV, Yuba City, California, who's here, uh, you know, I mean... You and Redding RV and, I mean, uh, yeah, Redding RV and Redding, California, too. Um, the fact of the matter is you can't come from much farther than you have to the open house, uh, and may much farther than you'd be coming from uh, overseas. Probably and, from Hawaii. Yeah. That's where I'd like to be. And, and uh, uh, Ernie, uh, what's your initial impressions uh, uh, of what you're seeing here at the open house? Well, it's, it's very impressive. Uh, I think the thing that I like most of all is you see more product here. In other words, when you go to Louisville, there's a limited supply of product because of the lack of space, even though it's a big facility. But here, you're not, uh, you're not limited by space, so you have a lot more product you can look at, more trailer sizes, and uh, that's, it's really been impressive. So y- your job here in town is to see a bunch of dealers, a uh, bunch of manufacturers? Yes. Oh, yes. Um, in fact, it's amazing how many manufacturers that are even outside of the Elkhart area are represented in the area. Uh, so, yeah, we can pretty well see everybody. In particular, you shop, and I don't mean brands, but I mean for what kinds of, of uh, units, what kind of 2012s? Well, I don't know that we're necessarily looking for a new product, but, uh, you know, in this business, you have to know what the competition is all about as well. And then, of course, the manufacturers that you do represent in a lot, they've got new models and new things coming out that you have to be on top of, and this is a good time to do it. All right. All right. Well, Ernie reflects a lot of the positive attitudes that we saw there at the sh- and heard at the uh, show. It's uh, uh, just generally they like the atmosphere. Uh, dealers like the atmosphere, and the manufacturers like the atmosphere too. I mean, it's obviously uh, f- for the manufacturers, it's a lot of work, but the costs are lower for them, and the uh, and and they can actually show more product and really give the dealers more bang for the buck, can't they? Well, I mean. The jury's still out on a lot of things about the open house. Mm-hmm. There are holes in the program, mm-hmm. and, uh, and and you need to see that uh, coming out. But the fact of the matter is, there's probably a lot more positives than negatives at this point. The positives, a lot of dealers, 3,000 dealers go through. Let's say 3,000. All right, we're not way off. We're not exaggerating. Right. 3,000 dealer personnel. Not, right. not dealerships. Mm-hmm. You got good social format for mm-hmm. mixing and making business. Mm-hmm. Right. You've got model year introductions. Mm-hmm. Good timing, some guys say. You've got a lot of things going for you. What don't you have going for you? Well, it's outdoors, so the weather is a uh, is a factor, uh, can be a factor. Wait. Although this year it was a very positive factor, we had great weather this year. But uh, and you also have uh, well, and and you also have the the idea where man- manufacturers do have have dealers going and seeing other manufacturers' product, but you have that at a trade show anyway. But let's pause on your comment on on, on the weather. Mm-hmm. The weather remains. Mm-hmm. a major issue because what would that week have been we argue among ourselves mm-hmm. in a downpour mm-hmm. well, hell what if we'd have had this week's 
weather, weather right yeah last, last week, week. Let's, right let's just be blunt about it uh but the fact is we didn't mm -hmm. it went exceedingly well sure um and, and and so you know the but there's still a general tentativeness out of respect uh not just loyalty but belief that the national rv trade show of rvia is still the thing so to speak it's still the thing in the eyes of many people and so there's a there's a kind of a delicate thing i i think in particular uh, of comments made uh by uh randy potts mm -hmm. uh president of uh, winnebago um Oh, this is a new experience for us, he tells me. We are out here seeing what it is. Forest River started this and others have jumped on. This is a huge event for our competitors. We are not sure what it's going to be for us in the future, but we like what we see and it's generated some really good traffic. We'll regroup after this and talk about it and see if we are going to be back in the future and what we are going to look like when we are. But it's been a positive experience sure yeah and i think that it it reflects uh, a little a little bit of a change in the, not only the market has changed obviously because the economy's changed corporate players have uh, shifted it's a sort of a different uh the architecture of the industry is a little different and i think that, that this may reflect a little bit of that but it also uh it reflects the way that uh, uh marketing is going which is more relationship uh, the social media it sort of reflects what's going on in social media in uh, social events and uh, networking kinds of uh, activities i would argue the open house i would argue that that the relational aspect has always been enormous in the sure. RV business and probably hasn't changed. Guys are just waking up or reawakening mm -hmm. to, to how important it is. Um, I did talk to one, to one guy. I mean, I talked to, let's be fair, I talked to hundreds of people sure. until my lips hurt. Mm -hmm. And the fact is 98% of them were pretty positive. Yeah. Uh, it, it, you know, I talked to one guy who who shall go nameless because he asked me to mm -hmm. uh, uh, but he's you know is an executive of a manufacturing company and, and he had serious concerns and, and you know and he needs to be listened to he, he says you know if this ever would really encroach on the national show on the Louisville show right if it, he finds a very uncomfortable uh, a very uncomfortable uh, thought uh, he finds it unprofessional he sees the wet grass and the and the wheels digging into the to the lawn yeah and he sees he, he says you know it's got to be more than this he says you know rvia and that show louisville yeah. show give the industry some panache some style some professionalism sure and those things count they rvia also gives them other things so it's a delicate path that we walk right now as as the industry you know kind of looks into both options and tries to figure out if there's if there's really room for both right yeah, assuming the, this thing keeps growing the open houses don't cater to the to the suppliers as well the as suppliers. obviously as Louisville they're virtually non-existent although a few were are in the area the suppliers uh, are, are sitting on the sidelines yeah. and, and it's an issue it's a it, it's a big issue yeah Okay. Well, positives and negatives, but 98% positive, at well, least I from the people who attended. Yeah. Dave, I don't want to sound negative in the least. It was, it was a wonderful thing. I think it's a concern uh, on all thinking people's minds that, that we retain the best of everything. That's right. Okay. All right. When we come back, we will be joined by Tom Gaither, who is the new director of the Western RV Show. And we'll take a look at that upcoming event. So stay with us. Should we use smile first? Oh, we got to smile. Yeah, that's true. Okay, because we always smile, right? Uh, you know, right. once a week we okay. have to smile. Well, now I'm smiling. Are you okay. ready? Do All I right. have to wait for you? Okay. Tell okay. okay. one, one, two, two three. three. For more TV like this from the world of RVs, head to RVNN.tv.